Today we're learning how to draw a family portrait using Adobe Fresco on your iPad. This is my main way of drawing all of my family portraits when it comes to ornaments or even the big family photos. I use this method all the time and I'm going to be sharing the step-by-step -step tutorial for you so that you could create your own individual portrait as well. Today we'll be showing you how to draw your own family portrait using Adobe Fresco. I have my iPad here with my Adobe Fresco app. It's all umbrellaed under the Adobe family. The main reason as to why I love using Adobe Fresco is the fact that I could draw with a vector brush. This is a game changer. This allows you to draw directly with vector. That way you don't have to do any adjustments when you go into Adobe Illustrator. All right, so if you're ready, go ahead and select a photo that you'd want to create. With this item, you could actually create things like this. I mainly use it for my ornaments. I'm, I have one here that I'm actually peeling and getting ready to ship out. So I figured it'd be a great time to actually go over how to do this whole process. So if you're ready, take your iPad, open up Adobe Fresco. It actually has the FR as the icon. Once you have it open, um, you want to have your custom size to be about 4 by 4 if you're doing an ornament. I like to go just a little bit bigger than my actual ornament size. Standard ornament is uh, 3.5 by 3.5. Circle round, so I actually just go with the 4 inch. So if you're doing anything larger, make sure to customize your document to be the appropriate size. So go ahead and open up your page. And once you have your page open, we now have to transfer over your photo into this sheet. We want to click on the icon that has that photo look and then open up photos or wherever you have your photo that you're bringing over and go ahead and transfer that photo into Adobe Fresco. Once you have that in, you want to adjust your photo so that it's to your liking and then press done. Now, the one thing that you'll see is that you're, you're gonna see a lot of color and it's actually hard to trace something when all of the vibrant colors are there. So I actually like to reduce the opacity. We're going to click on the um, icon for layer properties and we are going to lower our opacity to about 60. And depending on your photo and how vibrant it is, and adjust to your liking. So once we have that, add an additional layer on top. So click on the plus sign to have an extra layer. And we're actually going to draw on this layer. So with Adobe Fresco, you have multiple brushes. They have the pixel brush, they have a live brush, and they also have the vector brush. For our tutorial, we're going to be using the vector brush. They also have a ton of brushes here and you can also customize it to your liking. I'm using the rounded brush. Um, and then you want to adjust the sizing of your brush. I have it at 1.5. Just test it around and see if that's the great thickness for your photo. So once you have that, go ahead and start tracing. I love to just use this. If you're coming from the Procreate world, it kind of mimics the same functionalities where if you want to erase something, you just tap on the screen with two fingers and it'll delete uh, that most recent drawing. The cool thing about actually drawing or tracing something is that if something looks a little weird, you could always adjust it. If your client wants um, their hair down when the picture is up, you could change that up. If they're holding something weird or their head is positioned in an awkward position, that's all adjustable. All right, so when you are done, we are going to transfer this over to Illustrator. And the best way to do that is to click on that export button and click on open a copy and we're going to send it over to our desktop. There's actually only one step you need to do once you're on Adobe Illustrator. You want to unite all of the strokes so that it's on one layer. So we are going to highlight the entire photo, press on Pathfinder and unite. That way all of your layers from each of the strokes that you did on your photo is united and combined so that when it comes to engraving or cutting this outline, it's going to be one cohesive layer. Just like that, your drawing is complete and now you can take this anywhere you want, whether it's an actual photo, an outline, or an engrave, anything is possible. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you and it was easy to follow. If you have any questions, make sure to drop them down below. Click that like and subscribe button and I will see you on the next one.